right words, and I am just going to say the word, and right now you're going to be listening, okay? And then in a minute, it will be your turn to read. Another, done, into, moved, now, show, to, watcher, year, and your. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to try. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. Put those away, please. Okay, your turn. Raise your hand and give me an example of a time where you had to be allowed to do something. To use your what? To use his dialect? His stuff. His stuff. So his parents have allowed him to use his brother's stuff, like maybe play with his toys, right? Raise your hand if you've ever been allowed to go play with your friends or play with your neighbors outside, right? So when your parents allow you to go outside, they are giving you permission. Care. Care means to meet a need. So we all have somebody at home that takes care of you, right? What are some of the things, the needs that they meet? Like I'll give you an example. They make sure that you have food. What else? Water. Water. They play with you and have fun and make sure that you have you have a good time. Yes, that's a good one. What was the other one? Clothes. Clothes, right? A home. A home. wandering 
And unlike roams where you're just walking around freely, when you're wandering, you are looking for something. So you know how I'm all this the time losing my remote somewhere and I'm walking around the room and I'm like, has anybody seen my remote? Do you know where I put my remote? I'm wandering around looking for it, right? That's what wandered is. Wild is our next one. A place in nature where animals live. Does anybody want to give me an example of somewhere that would be wild out in the wild? Um, the woods? Out in the woods, right? There's no fences or gates, right? All the animals can just go freely. Out in the desert? In the forest? Well, let's think about the zoo. The zoo looks like a wild place, right? Because they do a really good job of putting all kinds of trees and things that look like the animal's habitat. But do they, can they go free or are they kind of maybe trapped in a cage? Yeah. So a zoo might kind of look like the wild, but is it truly the wild for that animal? Not quite, but it, they do make it look like the wild. The ocean. The ocean. Oh, that's a good one. The ocean. You, you might not think about that one because it's underwater, but that's out the wild. Tropical rainforest? Ooh, you guys are good. The sea? The sea, good. Those are all really good. Those are all places where animals live. Y'all are giving me so many good ones, we'll have to share some of them later, okay? So we can move on. All right, moving on to our phonics skill for the week. So I have a little poem for you, or a little rhyme, if you remember. When two mouths get together, it's like a game. Can you guys repeat that? When two vowels get together, it's like a game. And then the second part is, the first vowel speaks, it says its letter name. The first vowel speaks, it says its letter name. What that means is, and you may have heard it before as when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Have you heard that one before? Some people may have learned it that way. All you need to remember is that when you see a word that has a consonant and a vowel and then a consonant and another vowel, that pattern, that first vowel that comes in the word, you're going to hear it say its letter name. So if A is saying A like its letter name, is that short or long? Long. long. So that first vowel is going to be the long sound. It's going to sound like the name of the letter, okay? So let's look at these examples. Bang. Do you hear how that A is saying its letter name? Yeah. Made. Ate. And Kate. Okay, and we are going to talk about commas. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of a comma before. No? Maybe? Okay. We're going to talk about commas specifically in a series, okay? So sometimes commas are used in a sentence when you're creating a list of three or more words or three or more things, okay? So, I'm gonna show you an example. We use commas to separate those words that we're listing to show that they're separate. So the sentence says, Jen has a pencil, a book, and a crayon, okay? Now, these blue punctuation marks right here, are commas, okay? We use them to separate the three things that she has. All right, so to figure out how many commas you're going to need, first you're gonna count the number of items in your list. So let's look at this sentence. Jen has a pencil, a book, and a crayon. And we said that was how many items? Two, three. Three, pencil, book, and crayon, right? Now, we have three items. So we are going to take the number of items that we have and take away one. So we have three items. Three minus one is what? Two. 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 So we need two commas. If you have four items, take away one. How many commas would you need? Three. Three. Okay? You follow that rule every time, okay? So there are our two commas. Now, let's look at these sentences, and I will get some people to tell me where the commas should go. All right. I had chicken, broccoli, and rice for dinner. 
I had chicken and broccoli and rice for dinner. First off, what are my items that I am listing in my series? Chicken, so that's number one. Broccoli's number two. And rice. Okay, so I have three things. How many commas will I need? Two, because I have three things minus one. That would be two commas. Does anybody want to guess where the commas would go? Tell me which word to put them after. After after chicken, there's one. And after broccoli. I had chicken, comma, broccoli, comma, and rice for dinner. Very good. All right, the next one. The children danced, laughed, and played. The children danced, laughed, and played. What are my things in my list? Dance. Dance is number one. Laugh. Laugh is number two. And play. And play. So how many commas would I need? Two. Two, because I have three items. Taking away one, and I'll need two commas. Someone else raise your hand and help me figure out where those commas would need to go. Tell me the word they would go after. Dance. After dance. And laugh. And after laugh. Thumbs up if you agree. All right, good. I love reading, writing, and recess. What are my items? Writing is two, and recess is three. Now, how many commas would I need? Who can help me with that one? Two, because two, I have three things, taking away one. Where would they go? Um, between reading, wait, reading, after reading, reading and writing. After writing. Very good. All right, last one. She bought gum, chips, and a drink. She bought gum, chips, and a drink. What are my things that I'm listing? Gum, chips, and a drink. So how many do I have? Three. Three things. Gum is one. Chips is three. And a drink. Now, somebody different. I want to know how many commas I will need. How many commas? Two. Two, because I have three things on my list, taking away one, and that leaves me with two commas. Where would they go? After gum. After gum. And chips. And after chips. She bought gum, chips, and a drink. Very good. Give yourself a pat on the back. That was really good. We're going to look at three different sentences. They all have the same word, but only one of them uses the commas correctly. Okay? So, all three of those sentences say the apple was crisp, sweet, and juicy. But, we've got to figure out if the first one is right, the middle one is right, or the bottom one is right. Okay? Hang tight, hang tight. Think about it. Look at each choice. All right. If you think number one is right, tap your nose. If you think that that top one is right, tap your nose like this. Okay. If you think number two is right, stand up. Okay. All right, sit back down. If you think number three is right, stand up. Ooh. Okay? All right. Would one of my friends that just stood up like to raise their hand and tell me why? Why do you think that the, the bottom one is correct? Because it doesn't have a comma after apple, and it doesn't have a three after, and it doesn't have a comma after three, so that one has to be the one. Okay. So he's saying, so he's looking at this one, he's saying, do we need a comma after apple? No. Not really. If
is that a part of our list? Mm. We're listing words that describe the apple, but the apple is not one of the things we're listing, so we wouldn't need that. And then up top, what is this one missing? This one's missing something too. Does anybody see it? After what word? It doesn't have the comma right here. So the one that is correct would be this last one. You were so fat on the back, you got that one right. That was good. The apple was crisp, comma, sweet, comma, and juicy. Because we have three things, right? And so we would need how many commas? Two. Two commas. And that's what that sentence has, okay? So that's a little tricky. You kind of have to think outside the box on that.